Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jay Xavier Sports, and today we're going to be talking about the Jaguars, but more specifically about the Jaguars rookies. You know, it's going to be exciting to see them on the field for the first time. Uh, next week is the rookie mini camp starting May the 11th through the 13th. So next Friday, uh, we'll, we will, you know, we'll be able to see the rookies run around in shorts and t-shirts and, you know, nothing really major. Uh, just kind of getting their feet wet. Um, you know, get acclimated with the, with the facility, the head coaches, and other things like that. So the big question is whether or not one of these guys can unseat one of the, our starters already. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But uh, you look at our draft picks, probably the most significant uh, guys in our, in our uh, draft picks, obviously with Taven Bryan, the defensive lineman is always interchangeable. They're always uh, switching you know, switching roles or uh, getting different reps. So Taven Bryan might get reps inside or outside. He'd probably stay inside, you know, getting reps with Malik Jackson and um, Marcel Darius. But we might not see Taven Bryan too much this year. Um, you know, like I said, just on the kind of rotational plays. As for Ronnie Harris and DJ Shark, I think those two players might have the biggest impact on our team. And they, those two will actually, I think, have the biggest chance to start on our team next year. Now you look at Will Richardson, he also has a chance to start as well because of the fact that when you look at the office alignment on our team, or really just in general around the NFL, office alignment really uh, never tend to stay healthy. So that's one thing that I'm really concerned about. That's why I'm glad we grabbed an office alignment. I was hoping we would get one early in the draft, but Will, uh, Will Richardson seems like he only really fell because of the off the field issues. So he might be a decent player in that spot. And I'm, I'm assuming Jeremy Parnell, um, you know, if he goes down, that he'll, you know, Will, Will Richardson will most likely be the guy in place. Guys, Ronnie, Ronnie Harrison and DJ Sharp, probably the best, probably the best two selections um, in this year's draft. Uh, one, you get DJ Sharp, a very explosive player, dynamic player. He ran the fastest 40 time in the draft. Um, and when you look at his production at LSU, it was really hampered by bad quarterback play. Uh, we know with Danny Etling and other guys throwing it to him. So he wasn't really uh, targeted the right way, you know. And I know some Jaguar fans are probably laughing at me now. Oh, well, Bortles is, is uh, you know, not much better. But come on, guys. We got to get over the, we got to get over that realization. You know, Bortles is our quarterback. And he, he played very well last year without a deep threat, you know, in Allen Robinson. So... I feel like with DJ Shark, he, you know, he brings something to our team that we really don't have now, and that's uh, a, a dynamic player when it comes to that elite speed. And you know, DJ Shark is a is a uh, track guy as well, so you know you expect him to be fast. And you know, I, I can't wait to see what Nate Hackett does with him in the offense. You know, expect to see a lot of reverses, end arounds, and uh, you know, obviously the goal routes because he can run by practically any DBs in the NFL. That's one guy I'm circling his name. He could make some noise, you know, early on in the season, but I don't see him starting week one. But I'm telling you guys, eventually throughout the season, probably about midweek through the season, especially if you start to see injuries and stuff like that. But I do believe DJ Shark will be, be I mean, I do believe he'll be the number one guy by the, by the end of the season. And he's going to have such a good year. So... You know, hopefully, for our case, that's the truth. And uh, on to Ronnie Harrison, the safety we drafted. Uh, I believe Ronnie Harrison also has the chance to start as well. Now, his battle might be a little bit tougher because, uh, you know, Barry Church, Deshaun Gibson, they're, you know, they're quality players at their position. Now, Ronnie, Harris, uh, Ronnie Harrison is probably going to be taking Barry Church's position. Uh, they kind of play the same role. When we look at Ronnie Harrison, uh, his his build is kind of big, and he's uh, I won't say he's slow, but he you know he relies more on his big hits and uh, having a presence of mind and being on uh, you know knowing his way around the field. He's he's very good in coverage, so um, you know he can cover tight ends and he'll probably uh, play a lot close to the line of scrimmage because he's real big and is a very good tackler. So that's that's one thing I'm excited about him. The reason why I think he'll start is because when you look at his production at Bama. You know, he played under a great coach in Nick Saban. He played in the great defense as well. 
So I feel like he just kind of got overlooked. That's probably why he fell to the third round. But Ronnie Harris is uh, Ronnie Harrison is um, most likely gonna be like a kind of like that thumper in the middle, kind of like a Cam Chancellor, so to speak. I know the way we like to play our defense, uh, we want to stop the run, or uh, you know we want to you know get past the flexes and get pressure on the quarterback, but we also want to you know stop the run and limit you know the short field, uh, you know uh, limit other offenses like like the play the short field like Phillip Rivers and Tom Brady. You know, this is the fear, you know, fearful tackler that's going to stop tacklers, you know, before the first down marker. So I think he's another guy that he might not start week one, but I'm telling you guys throughout the season, uh, maybe midweek, the same as DJ Shark, um, he will be starting. I'm telling you, he's a guy, he can't keep talent on the bench for too long. And then you look at our other draft picks, Leon Jacobs, a linebacker out of Wisconsin. He'll most likely be a special teams guy. Then Logan Cook, the punter. You know, he's obviously already the starter now because of Brad Norman uh, being released. And then, obviously, look at Tanner Lee. Um, I know a lot of Jaguar fans were scratching their head. Why would we draft a project quarterback? But I guarantee you those same Jaguar fans would have been asking why didn't we draft a quarterback if, if, if we didn't take one. Uh, make sure you like the video, comment if you have any questions or anything you want to add to the video. And definitely subscribe uh, to Jay's Every Sports. I really do appreciate everybody commenting on the videos and liking the videos and subscribing to me. So I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for uh, all you guys watching and go Jags. I'll catch you with you guys later.